You guys, the tackling, especially this last three games, was pretty solid. What, what happened out there today? Uh, you know, guys playing through some injuries, you know what I'm saying, banged up a little bit, but uh, no excuses, you know, uh, they ran through those tackles this game. And, uh, you know, back to the lab, we back going back to basics and, uh, you know, just uh, uh, being us. Do you feel like uh, Baker showed a lot of guts to wrap up that hand and take the glove on? Uh, no question. Back out there? No question. Uh, a lot of heart uh, to get out there and still throw it, you know. Uh, some big completions when he still hurt his hand, and, uh, you know, in the end, though, know, Joe Hayden made a play. It looked like a uh, well behaved game. Was it as physical as the first game? Yeah, well, if not more. Uh, definitely was physical. Uh, both ends, uh, both teams. Uh, you know, uh, they just leaked out and uh, made some plays. Sheldon, you guys in that first half for the most part really took it to it mm -hmm. and it had the momentum. Uh, I tore and, all the way up until the end. Yeah, and, and then you guys lost and were unable to regain it. What do you think happened there? Uh, I think Six just in the backfield got settled down a little bit, you know, and uh, brought the game into his own. He made some great throws, uh, perfect placements for the ball, for the guys to make it, for his teammates to catch the ball, and, uh, you know, kudos to him. People have a hard time compartmentalizing, you know, the Browns offense versus the Steelers offense and all the backups that they had on the field today. I know they're professionals and they're in the NFL for a reason, but can you just maybe, I don't know, explain to fans how something like that can happen? Uh, you know, those, well, his backups he's been throwing to, you know what I'm saying, since, since training camp. So he's those, the rhythm is there with those guys. And uh, yeah, you can say he's a backup, but that's his offense he's been playing with since he started training camp. Do you feel like that this was like a statement game by their defense that, that they weren't going to let the Browns come into their house and, and win this game and just they stood, stepped up? Uh, you can say that, you know, because they won the game. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we started off hot. Uh, you know, kept it going for a little bit, you know, they just ended up making the play at the end, you know. It was a hard fought game, you know. They make money too and they gotta make plays too. Sheldon, were you concerned when you were when you got knocked out that you weren't gonna be able to continue? No, nah, I was talking to the ref and uh when they said they needed to take me off, I wasn't dizzy or nothing, uh, you know, just felt a little burn in the shoulder. And uh honestly I just, you know, I was kinda mad I was missing the rest of those downs. Sheldon, where do you guys go from here? This was a, a game that hurts your chances to get to the playoffs. You know, hopefully they drop one or two, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we can't lose anymore. Uh, it's just that simple. And, uh, you know, one, one week at a time and we on the next week. Uh, we drop the ball on this one, off in, on the next week, short-term memory. With the talent that you have on this football team, do you feel that you guys have everything that you need right in this locker room to, to win out? Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, no one's coming to save us. Uh, it's too late in the league, for, too late in the season for that. And, uh, you know, uh, we all we got. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, talk on the internet about Freddie's T-shirt. Do you think it had any impact with uh, your shirt the other day? Pittsburgh started it. Oh, that's fine. Uh, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> well, can't gotta have fun with it, man. Uh, yeah. Win, lose, or draw, you gotta have fun with it. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we knew what type of game it was gonna be coming into it, and. Uh, from the media standpoint, so I'm pretty sure he didn't do anything to it. Uh, you know, it was already hyped up to be this type of game. Were the expectations and hype for this team too much this year, or too unfair? I mean, you said we was going to what, Super Bowl, that type of deal? No, you know, just you know, playoffs, maybe win the division. Yeah, that too. Uh, you know, I, I hope so did. You know, uh, it's unlikely, but uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, we just let the chips fall away lot. But do you think that the, the expect for considering this is the really the first year I expect to go to the playoffs you. every year, Brody. So uh, you know, that's how hard I play. I ran into a heat of the day and got back out there. So uh, it is what it is, and uh, you know, you can uh, counsel us off if you want to, but we're gonna keep fighting to the end. One of their players, Cam Sutton, cornerback walked into the stadium with a, a sweatshirt on that depicted uh, a Steelers player urinating on a Browns player. Did you guys see that before yeah. the game? No, no, no. We go into our locker room right off the, right off the bus. So, I mean, like, y'all keep talking about this little petty stuff. Uh, that stuff is fun, and we laugh at stuff like that. Uh, y'all take that to heart if y'all want to. That's on y'all. This all goes with the game, you know? Uh, hyping up the game, it is what it is. But even if even if it was that way for you guys, do you think any of that stuff from November 14th carried over for them and affected, gave I'm them sure extra juice? Uh, extra juice, you call it what you want. I call it better game planning, you know? Uh, we did a little too much for us, our stunts and stuff, and. Uh, uh, you know, we settled up at the end. That's why we, you know, made a little, made a little ground back up on that. You know, it all comes into play too. You had a couple conversation, well, one conversation with Mike Tomlin during the time. Was that just competitive fun? You guys yeah, good? Just talking, bro. I mean, you know what I'm saying. We understand what happened uh, the last time we played him, and uh, you know, we're not here for that. We're here to play football. Is that what you were saying to him? Oh, no, I was talking about the play. We was talking about the play. That's okay. all we was talking about. That's it. Is facing them uh, here versus? You know, at home, a night and day difference. I mean, do you feel it statistically? It was a playoff it's the, atmosphere. Yeah. It's just that simple. Uh, it was a playoff atmosphere, and they came out on top. You know, we got to do, do better than that in the back end uh, for us, us defensively wise, and you know I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, controlling everybody. 
you said that the quarterback made some really good throws. He did. He did. Looked like they recovered. Does it surprise you that he was able to produce a win in this game? He did. I, no need to be surprised. He did. Uh, when he made the first throw, and I was like, all right, he can really throw the ball. So uh, we got to get on that a little bit. Do you have any idea, I mean, with the talent level on the team, why things aren't going better? Freddie indicated that you guys didn't sort of match the intensity of the Steelers after a certain point in this playoff type atmosphere game. Do you feel that? Yeah, I mean, they started making plays. They had 20 international points, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you can say we didn't. Mm -hmm. And do you feel he, he hopes that next time you get in a game like this, which we come out on top? Probably going to be the next. Yeah, probably. I mean, all the games are going to be like that, I feel, like, you know. Uh, we, didn't, we ain't beating too many teams uh, about 50 points. So, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.